Hi, I'm Father Anthony Hannon from Invian Patches, and this is to prepare his way. They called the police on me. <laughs> yep, a few days ago I was into the big city, and uh, some friends and I, we decided we'd uh, go for lunch at one of these popular coffee and donut and sandwich places. My friends were a little bit ahead of me, and I got a text from one of them saying that they just ordered their food, they're waiting for it, then they're going to go eat outside. And I'm thinking, no, it's cold outside, I'm eating inside. So when I went there, I told them, don't worry about it. There's other people eating in the restaurant. Just go grab a table and I'll join you. I got my food, went over, and uh, we prayed our usual blessing and began to eat. Well, no sooner than we began eating than one of the staff came over. She had her outward sign of submission on, so I could barely understand what she was saying under her muffled voice. And she had a clipboard with her. And she started asking us some personal questions. I don't really know exactly what it was. Something about our names and phone numbers and and proof of something or other. Anyway, I said, no, we're not going to answer those questions. So she said, well, you can't eat here then. I said, why not? She said, well, someone might come in. We might get a ticket. I said, look, you've done your job. I'm the one refusing to answer the questions. So if they're going to come in to give a ticket, they can come to me, and I'll take the heat. She said, well, I'm still going to have to make a phone call. I said, who are you going to call? She says, I'm going to call the police. I said, okay, <laughs> look, here's the way it's going to go down. We're going to eat our lunch, and then we're going to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and that's what we did. Now, don't get me wrong. We didn't dilly-dally. Uh, we did eat fairly quickly, but not, not unreasonably so. Uh, I didn't really want to encounter the police just because I had a meeting to go to. I didn't want to be late for them. Anyway, we finished up our lunch, collected our garbage, tossed it in the trash, and walked outside. Well, as soon as we walked outside, what do we see but two police vehicles? Two police vehicles for a little for us, you know, it's crazy. Me and three three ladies. <laughs> and uh, anyway, the policeman in the first vehicle, he was looking at us. He had a big smile on his face. So I said, hi, how's it going? He nodded his head and, and we walked away. Now, had the police come when we were eating lunch, we did have a card with us pointing out all the ways that laws were being broken and, uh, you know, violating our rights and treating us like second-class citizens, asking us for personal information. And we would have made our case with the police, and uh, you know, I'm sure they would have been very polite and listened to us, just like we would be very polite to them. And then they probably would have said, well, you still have to leave, and they probably would have said, you're banned from this place. If you come back, you're trespassing, or something along those lines. And we would have just left. That's all. This video, I'd like to encourage anyone who watches this video to muster up the self-respect to go and do the same. I mean, if everyone was doing that, what are they going to do? They're all going to call the police? <laughs> They'll get so many calls, the police will be, thank you for calling, we'll make a note of it, and make sure you call us the next time you see someone jaywalking too. <laughs> It'll be unenforceable. So please, everyone, please do this. Um, you know, show a little bit of courage. And, you know, you're a child of God. You have dignity. You have dignity. And I think we have a duty to disobey these immoral orders. Now, I know there are many Catholics who are, and many others who are saying that, you know, obedience is a virtue. We're just being obedient. I'm sorry. In my opinion, that's a cop-out. That's just a cop-out. Um, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. The police are on our side for the most part. All the police I've talked to one-on-one, -on -one, they're on our side. They're rooting for us. They're normal people. And, you know, police who answer these calls and, and you know, who are on call, right, and, and they're on the street, um, they're dealing with really nasty situations on a daily basis. I mean, they're being called to domestic abuse and violence, and they're dealing with people who are spun out on drugs and and uh, people are intoxicated and belligerent to them. When they come to a call and they just meet ordinary, normal people, right? And we're polite to them and everything like that. There's not going to be a problem. This is an easy call for them. They don't want confrontation either. They don't want to put you in handcuffs, okay? Uh, just be polite and everything will be fine. You know, when you go to these places, just refuse to go to the proverbial back of the bus. I mean, do it in a polite way, right? You can do it with a smile on your face. You don't have to get angry at anyone. These people are suffering. They're just making minimum wage or something or other. But, um, you know, be kind. But 
make sure that you keep your, your human dignity intact. Okay. The Lord is with you. And if God is with you, who can be against you? May Almighty God bless each and every one of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Live in the truth. Live free. Put your faith in action and do the right thing.